Yo, what's good guys? Thank you for clicking on today's video. I'm going to be showcasing you lot this smooth infinity zoom transition effect that you can use in your music videos or just a video you're looking to edit to add some extra sauce. So if you are new to this channel and you want to join the family, make sure you smash that subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you have been enjoying the content on this page and you do like this effect, feel free to hit that like button. Now let's dive straight into this effect. So the first thing you want to do is obviously have your video in After Effects within the composition. And the way I do this is basically editing my videos in Premiere Pro, the music videos, I cut them up in here. And then any sort of effect where I want to do like a nice transition, I just right click and I go to replace with the After Effects composition. So that's what I've done with this effect. Now you can do it any way you want. And once you have your video in the composition here and it is playing, this is my clip. This is the clip we'll be using today. It's from Clavish Music Video. So I'm gonna be showing you guys where I want the zoom. But first, what I usually do is I go to transform and I just scale it up and I position it to the point where I feel like is best for this video. So say for example, I wanna zoom up to 145 and then we go to our grid right here and we choose proportional grid. And then we could just move our clip into the center of this grid for where we want this transition to start. So maybe something like this, okay? And then we could just zoom in a tad more, 147. So we are completely in frame, okay? So once you do that, just click back on the grid and click off proportional grid, just like that. Very simple, guys. Now, the next thing we are gonna do is we're gonna play this clip and then we're gonna see where we actually want this transition to start. So I say around here. So actually, you know what? Maybe just before, so around here, this is where I want my transition to start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Control, Shift and D on the keyboard for Windows. I don't know what it is for Mac. And that's basically gonna split the layer. So once you have split that layer, you can now see that this is where we want our zoom effect to happen. So the next thing you're actually gonna do is just right click on this second layer and you're gonna go to time and then you're gonna go to freeze frame. And when we click freeze frame, you're gonna see that now we have the beginning of the clip moving and then the rest is still. And this is where we want our effect to happen, okay? Just as that watch kinda gets blurry there, that's where we want the zoom to start, okay? Our next step, we just wanna slowly mask out our area on where we want the zoom effect. To begin so we're going to click on our first layer here and we're going to go to the pen tool we're going to click on the pen tool and we're basically just going to mask out this area of the watch so as you can see this is our mask again it's not as great but what we're going to do to clean this up just a little bit we're firstly going to go to mask one and then we're going to go to inverted and tick that box so now we basically have a hole in our mask right here in the watch and then we're going to go to mask one here click the arrow and we're gonna go to mask feather and we're just gonna change this, let's just say to around six. So now when we look at the mask, it's a lot more cleaner and I'm happy with the way that is looking. The next thing we're gonna do is basically just close this bottom layer here so we don't get confused. And we're gonna make sure we are highlighted on this layer, which is our freeze frame layer. And we're gonna click control D. And what that is gonna do is basically duplicate the layer. So now when we have the second layer here, we're gonna be changing a few things to make this effect happen. We're just gonna right click, go to new, and then we are gonna go to camera and just click okay, okay. And that is our layer here for the camera. And we're gonna go to the start. We are gonna open up the camera, go to transform. And we're just gonna highlight all these keyframes just in case we wanna use any of the rotation or the movement, etc., to make this zoom effect work properly. So once we have keyframed everything, the next step you wanna do is basically go to the 3D icon here in the box for two of these layers. And then you wanna make sure that the motion blur is on. So we got the motion blur and the 3D icon. The next thing you wanna do is basically go to the point on where this frame does freeze and you just want to go to the dolly cursor right here and you just want to slowly zoom and then we're going to slowly position again on where we want this zoom to start so i'd say something like that so now when we watch this back it slowly zooms into the watch just like that very simple but this is exactly what we kind of want for this effect to get started with all right now, 
The next thing we're going to do with this effect is we're going to be duplicating our freeze frame layer. So we're just going to make sure we are highlighted on here and we're going to do Control D on our keyboard. And when we open up this third layer here, we're going to go to Transform. And as you can see, we've got Position and Scale. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to the end here of our position and we're going to change this value to a thousand. All right. And what that's going to do is basically, as you can see, it's just made it smaller and it's duplicated the layer. So now we are creating basically our tunnel to zoom in into this watch to make this transition. So now that we've done the position, what we can do is we can go to scale and just subtract 147 by 10 and make that 137. So then now we've made it smaller, but we've also changed the positioning and made the positioning smaller as well. So that now when we go to our select tool and we move this mask, you can now see that we have a duplicated layer, which we can just slowly start to zoom into just like that. So that is our positioning for that scale. And you would do the same thing for, I'd say around eight layers. So we're just going to duplicate these. And as you can see, layer four, we're going to change this from a thousand to two thousand. And then we're going to do the same for the decrease, 127 from 137. And then we're going to do this one more time, duplicate that layer there. So we're on the eighth layer now. And we're going to change this to six thousand. And then we're going to put this down to 87. And then now, if we was to play this clip and open up our keyframes so that we can see what's going on. This is basically what it's looking like. Okay. Now, again, this doesn't look good right now, but in terms of where we're going to have this effect and how we're going to make it look, it's going to be 10 times better. Okay. So now the next thing we are going to do with this effect is basically zoom into this tunnel. All right. So now I say from this keyframe right here, we're going to move to around just for now, we can change this after we can definitely change it to around 21, 21 frames here. And then we are going to go to where it says select a view and we're going to change this to two and then we're going to zoom out a little bit just so we can see what we're doing and then we're going to go to default and we're going to change it to top and then what this is going to do is create a zoom for us to use so now when we click on our camera you can now see the 3d zoom that we can use and you're going to make sure that you are on z letter z right here so we're going to start our keyframes right here and we're just going to click on the z and we're just going to move up with our mouse. So now when you see this zoom happen, the transition is coming together. Now, at any point of the zoom where you feel like this isn't centered or something just doesn't look right, like for example, this one right here, I would want to reframe and just make it look a lot more interesting when it's zooming in. We would just go to this tool right here for our 3D camera and we would just reposition where this is going and make it a little bit more centered there and then again go to select tool and go to the Z we just carry on zooming in and do the same thing with this one just make it a lot more centered there so I'd say around there make sure select tools on and zoom in again and then again for this one make sure that we are more so centered in at a nice position so that when it does zoom into this last one, it's kind of like right in the middle there. But we can adjust this ever so slightly just to make sure that we are happy with the way it's looking. You don't want to do any adjustments after this. So as you can see, we've gone right through. So I'd say around there. So now when we watch this one, you can now see that we've created the tunnel and we've created the duplicated effect for this insane zoom so now the next thing you want to do is basically highlight your keyframes the ones that you're using anyway and just f9 them all right so now as you can see now that we've f9 it there's a lot that is a lovely zoom all right and what you can do is if you don't like the speed if you want it to be a little bit more slower what i can do is is basically just drag these keyframes back towards the end and if we watch that now if i change the view back to one so as you can see, this is what our effect is looking like right now. Now, what you can do is, is with these positions and these uh, duplicated layers, you can go to them. You can go to the position right here and transform and you can keyframe the opacity and change the opacity for each one 
as it's going through the zoom so say for example this one right here would fade out the next one would fade out and fade out and fade out and go into the whole zoom but i'm not going to do that for this transition i actually have something else for you guys to see so we're going to right click we're going to go to new and we are going to go to adjustment layer and then we're going to go to effects and presets and as you can see i've opened up my ultimate shake pack 15 drag and drop shakes for your videos guys if you do not have this pack feel free to go in the link in my description and download these today they are so good for your videos and it just changes the way your videos look especially music videos and shakes where you want to add that intensity and energy to your videos so we are going to be using the bouncy shake for this effect and i'm just going to drag that onto the adjustment layer and we're going to see how this changes the whole effect and the way it looks completely so we're going to be going to the part of where this transition actually starts for the zoom and we're just going to drag the adjustment layer with the keyframes to make sure they are in line and then we just want to make sure that we have our shake ready for this effect so we're just going to render this through to see what it looks like now and then if we want to move it we can if not we're happy with it then we can go with this but we're just going to render it and as you can see the shake has basically made this zoom kind of turn and have a nice rotation and a wiggle into the zoom which is so sick obviously i like to do is with this black space we're not just going to have it like that we're going to have a clip underneath it because we want the transition to come to life this is going to actually zoom into something so we're going to go to premiere pro we're going to open that up and as you can see we have our effect right here now the first thing i'm going to do is as soon as i see the shake coming which is right here we're going to add our clip underneath so that when the shake does happen and it does zoom through we have our clip underneath playing which is making sense and it just makes this effect come to life because that's exactly what we want and it's what we're looking for okay which is really nice that is our effect and what you can do for some extra source as well once it's zoomed into our frame here on this last frame of where this zoom is still happening you could go to adjustment layer in premiere pro open one up and we can add a nice flash just as the effect finishes so i'm going to be using my intensity preset pack if you guys don't have that feel free to get that as well and we can just do intense flash effect drag that onto your adjustment layer so then now when it goes through it has a nice flash on top of that zoom i'm so happy with the way that this effect has come out look how smooth it is look how clean it is and you guys can do this yourself just within a matter of minutes and for your music videos it's going to be really effective so guys if you like this effect today and this tutorial smash that like button and if you are new to the channel feel free to subscribe join the family hit the bell notification so you know when i'm uploading and if you guys want more tutorials and different effects feel free to put them in the comments below let me know what you think of this effect and i'll see you in the next video love